Welcome. Uh, thanks for coming this evening. For those who don't know me, my name is Dan Santoro. I am the Township Manager with uh, Cranberry Township. Um, we have some guests with us tonight one, uh, from each of the uh, cable providers that are here to uh, give you an update on uh, the things that they're working on, answer questions that you might have, um, and uh, you know, try and address the, the, the uh, conversation we hear going on in the community. I, know I want to give you a little bit of, uh, lay out the agenda for you tonight, what we're looking to do. Um, so first, uh, we'll start talking about what is, you know, why are we here? How did we get here? What is the, what is this, what is the starting point? Um, and uh, talk a little bit through that. Uh, we have prepared a brief video uh, for your review. That video sort of might answer some of the technical questions around digging and 811 and those kinds of things. And that resource is also online uh, in, on our web landing page where we've been uh, communicating about this project and the, and the providers and what they're doing. Uh, from there, we'll uh, give each of the providers an opportunity to give you, a, you know, a three to five minute quick overview of where they're at in the process, uh, you know, uh, and uh, how they're approaching the project from their different companies' perspective. Uh, after that, I want to share with you sort of a little bit of a timeline of things that have been going on and uh, our communications efforts to, to you all and the public. And then finally, we'll get to the question and answer portion of the, of the, of the general session. And, and when we get to that portion, I'll ask that we keep those questions generally. We're not looking, you know, we, uh, we want to answer those questions that are relevant to everyone in the room, not specific, you know, driveway or dog fence or sprinkler system questions. But after we get through the general session and those general questions, each of the providers, you probably saw on the way in, has, uh, uh, has a table and are prepared to address your specific property issues um, you know, at that time so that, that you can have a more one-on-one -on -one communication with them about any specific challenges you are facing. I can tell you from the, uh, from the program we did last week, I think a lot of folks uh, were, were uh, able to resolve and connect with each of the providers and, and their teams that are here today in order to address very specific questions. So, we want to provide time for that at the end also. So uh, that's the that's the overview of what we'll do. Hopefully we can get through this first part uh, in under an hour or about an hour. So that'll leave an hour to go out uh, and, and talk to the individual providers that uh, if you have any questions about uh, what's going on with a particular provider in your neighborhood or on, on your property. <clears throat> so starting out, why, why are we here? How did we get here? You know. Um, I, would, I want to share with you, uh, I want to start this way, share with you some emails that we received here in the township uh, at some point in the past. So this one back from 2020, I'm writing to, in, uh, writing to you in regard to the issue that I know many of us here in Cranberry Township, Butler County currently have. There's a sole provider of cable fiber internet. There are other internet providers, but they do not offer comparable speeds. Due to the technology, uh, those companies that do offer comparable internet are not offered in the area. I'm more than a little frustrated with the situation given the current time when social distancing practices are in place where many families rely on fast internet for a reasonable price. The incumbent, you know, the incumbent is, is, uh, is uh, acting as a monopoly in this individual's uh, opinion. So um, I do not know where else to turn, so I thought I'd share this with you. That's one email. The second one I'll share with you um, is from February 2022. Uh, what is Cranberry Township actively doing to attract and invite alternative internet services and cable providers other than our own current, our, other than our, our current provider? Cranberry is severely underserviced uh, community compared to others, uh, which are starting to look like more attractive areas of the country. Given the silver lining of the pandemic in so many companies and in that so many companies learned how to have their employees, school students, work from home, we are no longer geographically bound to being co-located with places of employment. If 16066 wants to retain and attract high tech, high income and significant tax con contributors, there needs to be something more attractive than a water park and a name the snowplow contest. 
how can we get this topic started on an agenda for an appropriate meeting? So how did we get here? We got here because we received hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of these same type of comments and emails and requests from residents of, of Cranberry Township. I gotta tell you, in my time here, this is one of the most requested things that I heard from uh, our residents consistently. Why can't we have alternative uh, providers competition? Uh, why is there only one provider in my particular area? Um, and we answered those questions the same, it's always the same, and that was this area, this service is provided by private corporations, not by Cranberry Township. We can, you know, we certainly can uh, uh, encourage uh, private companies to come in and, and provide that competition, but we can't require, nor can we uh, uh, pro prohibit them from coming in, uh, coming in. This is a service provided by the private market. Um, I'm here to tell you that I think the private market heard you all in this community loud and clear and decided that they were going to provide uh, upgraded services in the terms of the incumbents here, uh, but also alternative service to the new, new entrance into the market and new services into the market. So uh, that's the market really working, uh, um, you know, as it's supposed to, right? They heard that you, the consumer, say, this is what we want and we demand, um, and, uh, and there's a response to that. I think it also shows um, uh, a confidence in the market here in Southern Butler County and Northern Allegheny County where they're deploying their services because it's not common that you have three potential options for internet providers in communities. Uh, yes, many times in more, in more uh, populated areas you'll have at least two, but uh, in places like Cranberry, uh, it's, it's not that common. And I think that speaks to the strength of the market in terms of the investment that private corporations are making in Cranberry Township. So that's really how we got here, right? Uh, it's, uh, uh, and we can talk about the township's role in that, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a, in, in a few minutes, but that's essentially the, the, the broad framework of what brought us here. So I wanna, you know, so, you know, uh, we all know sort of the history of wh where we've been in terms of the evolution of telecommunication, right? And some of the incumbents, and they'll talk about it, uh, North Pittsburgh, which was the predecessor to Consolidated, has been, through, been here in Cranberry for many, many, many years, as has Armstrong Cable uh, and uh, for many, many years. Uh, Comcast, new entrant in the market, and they can tell you uh, a little bit about what they're looking to do. But now I'm gonna turn to the video we have that hopefully will address some of your technical questions with regard to what's going on, 811, digging, uh, and uh, the requirements. Armstrong, Consolidated Communications, and Comcast Cable Companies are embarking on an infrastructure project that will allow them to expand cable and internet services in Cranberry Township. As that work has occurred, residents have had many questions about the initiative. Cranberry Township has worked hard to answer those questions and outline the process. The respective utility company determines where they would like to expand and which properties they will need to access. Utility companies have a legal right to access any of their infrastructure due to easements, dedicated sections of land on private property. Each company must use their own lines to ensure oversight and accountability in the future. Some contractors will leave a door hanger at residents' homes at least two weeks prior to the commencement of work. Some contractors may send a letter, postcard, or call the residents. Others may simply begin working. Each company is responsible for its own customer service. The utility company contacts the Pennsylvania One Call Hotline, PA811, for properties to be marked. Underground utility lines are marked with colored flags to prevent them from being damaged during excavation. The color of the flag denotes what type of utility line it is marking. Cranberry Township receives notification that they must mark a property for public water, public sewer, and public stormwater infrastructure. The Township has three business days to complete a request. Due to high demand, the Township has hired a third party to assist with utility marking. 
If the flags or markings are moved or compromised in any way, please call 811 to request the utilities to be marked again. Once the property is marked, the utility company may proceed with excavation. Excavators are privately hired contractors working on behalf of the utility company. In the event of an incident, residents should call 911, then call the gas utility provider that supplies the residents or the PA1 call system to report the incident. Once excavation is complete, the utility company is required to restore the property to its original state. Any damage done to the property is the responsibility of the contractor who caused the damage. Residents can call the contractor directly with questions about the restoration process. While it is the responsibility of the resident to work directly with the utility company for complete restoration, Cranberry's Utility Department is available to assist with any concerns. These five staff members can answer questions and document any issues. Additionally, the Township's Customer Service Department can direct questions and concerns to the appropriate person. This infrastructure project is estimated to take approximately one year to complete. Time to complete the work at different locations will vary. The Township is in constant contact with the utility companies about where they are working and general timelines. While the work is invasive, it is temporary. For decades, residents have requested more options when it comes to cable and internet providers. This work provides those choices, and once finished, providers will be better equipped to serve Cranberry Township and its residents. Okay, so, and I, what I did fail to mention up front, and I should have, we are filming this session, so you all are aware of that. Um, uh, we had a session last week that filled up, and this one also filled up, so um, instead of doing additional sessions, um, doing some of the question and answer, we wanted to film this session, and this will be loaded on our website and the landing page for this also. So I, I meant to mention that up front uh, before we move forward. So, you know, I would say I want to talk a little bit about the communications effort here real quick, and there's a number of things I want to share with you. First off, you know, the township really didn't need, this is not our project, right, but we found very early on the need to, to, to begin to, we knew this was going to be significant when all of the providers you know, the perfect storm, we're coming together and doing construction at the same time in our community. So we wanted to communicate, we've developed a number of different tools to do that. We have a landing page on our website. We have an FAQs, the, the, uh, the video that we showed earlier will be there. Uh, if you want the numbers and email addresses uh, of uh, the contact information for the project, we prepared a rack card, you can take this with you. They'll be at the tables in the back here today, uh, and uh, I'll talk about uh, it, it, you know uh, some of the other stuff later on. But you know, <coughs> this has been an ongoing project. You know, back in March, uh, there was some news articles and information in Cranberry Today, our newsletter, about uh, the expansion of Comcast with into the, into the township. Um, you know, they they presented back to the board of supervisors back in May of 2025. And then in June, the board, they had a franchise agreement approved by the township. Um, Armstrong had already been working here and had been working south, uh, I think, as Joe said, as well as uh, Keith, you know, in terms of consolidated. So we really ended up with this, you know, perfect storm of everybody being here from a construction perspective at the same, same time. And we began to realize that in, in June, early in June. So. Uh, when they were all coming here. So in early June, we, we stood up the web page that I mentioned, this landing page for content. Um, we uh, assigned a point person okay, over here, Joe Levins, <laughs> back in June, because we knew, based on the number of, the amount of work that was going on, that we wanted a point person to be able to stay in touch with the providers and get folks to the right uh, uh, people uh, and get their, answer, their questions answered. Um, back in June, then we also, many of you live in plans that have homeowners associations. We, we presented this topic to our homeowners association, asked, uh, we have a homeowners association forum where 20 plus uh, neighborhoods participate with us on a bi-monthly basis in a meeting where we're trying to share information. I see some members who participated in that here in the room. Um, 
and we try and share information. That's our way of communicating, uh, and hopefully those communities communicating with their residents. Uh, so we did that back in June. Uh, we even had a, one of the providers at that meeting with us to answer uh, questions. I think Armstrong, Joe Taylor was at that meeting. Uh, also in early June, we started doing social media uh, posts about the upgrade. We did a utility bill insert um, in your July sewer, water, or trash bill. If you get one of those from us, we gave you an update and, and specific information in your bill, in your hand, uh, in, in, the, in your July bill. Um, we did an article in the July 10 Cranberry Today, our newsletter. Um, you know, we, uh, back, and then in September, we, we uh, featured some additional information on our, our news and announcements. We did this video that we're talking about. We're preparing yard signs now uh, to provide to the providers that hopefully would stick at the front of your plan that indicate that uh, the project is still coming. Um, and then we had some additional information. And um, let's go to the next one. Uh, you know, and here's, here's where we are now with the coffee and conversation, the rack card, uh, and um, you know, uh, uh, you know the recording tonight that will be placed on the website. You know, I just went through, wanted to go through that just because, uh, you know, I think what we heard, we, what we heard last week was uh, communication, 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 and I wanted to demonstrate that we that we have been working on communication. That doesn't mean we can't do a better job. That's always the question for us, for the residents. We take our a job of communicating what's going on in the community very seriously. So um, I just wanted to share some of the things that we have done to this point to communicate to to our residents. So with that, we're going to move into the you know. And there's some some of the platforms that we have. Uh, there's we're going to put up the uh, the contact information that's there. But you also can get that information from the RAP card, uh, you, our township landing site, and I'm sure all the providers will be able to. Those are the information that they provided you, uh, the numbers, um, uh, and that information will also be contained in that rack card, uh, so you can get it and take it with you and have it handy. Certainly, I understand there there is um, stress and angst over the what the work that's happening in your neighborhoods. I get it, right? It's impact in in your front yard. You're going to get these boxes. Uh, you're going you know, to they're being dug up. Some of your uh, facilities, whether it's your dog fence or your sprinkler system or your sidewalk or your driveway are being impacted. Uh, I, I certainly get it, right? I, it, that's our property and that's, uh, um, that's, that can be a challenge. I can tell you that, uh, and I'm sure the gentlemen here at the front table as well as their colleagues at the tables out afterwards will tell you, they have committed to making it right, right? It will take time, but they have all committed to respond to the customers uh, you all, the residents, and um, and and, uh, and fix the challenges or the, those impacts, right? But uh, or those inconveniences that we have. So.